Time for the markets, a big USDA report making waves. Indeed, Mike, the June acreage report dropped and it looks like it's making some big waves in the markets. And we'll get into that, but first, the numbers. What were last week's biggest gains and losses? And then, a deeper dive into the June acreage report. What did it tell us and what are the implications? MSU row crop economist Will Maples gives us the details. So, markets closed last Friday, trending down, slightly down. Row crops mostly affected while livestock up. Let's take a look. This week's biggest gain, sugar, up a little over a penny. That's a 6% increase from the previous week. The week's biggest loss, corn, down nearly 14 cents. That's more than a 3% decrease from the previous week. So, Jude Acreage Report released last week. In short, corn and cotton acres higher than expected, while soybean about where we thought. MSU row crop economist Will Maples spoke with me about this to talk about the market implications. The USDA recently released its June acreage report, so tell me, what are the biggest takeaways from that report? Yes, so it was a kind of few surprises out of this report. So historically, this is always a really important report for the market because this is our first real survey of what's been planted this year. So this year's main surprise we saw was increase in corn acres from the March perspective planting by nearly 1.5 million acres. So this is a very bearish number for the market, a lot more acres than were expected on corn because that puts it at nearly 91 and a half million acres of corn planted this year in the U.S. Uh, so corn's going to struggle going forward with that much acreage on top. So yeah, we have a lot of corn in storage right now, so knowing that we have all of these extra acres on top of the corn that's in storage, I could see how that would make the markets more bearish. Most definitely, especially too with what the weather outlook is. I mean, we're getting timely rains throughout the Midwest right now. Uh, there was some severe flooding in Iowa, uh, took some bushels out, but overall rain makes grain and the outlook is going forward that the crop's looking pretty good at this point of the time of the year. Fair enough. So how does it look on soybeans? What did the acreage report have to tell us on that? So soybeans somewhat surprised the market as well because they reduced soybean acres from their March estimate by about 300,000 acres. So most of the industry trader experts thought that we would see an increase in soybeans because kind of the general idea was it was a little wet planting corn this year. So maybe some reduced corn acres and then, you know, the rest would go into soybeans. Uh, we didn't see that with that report, so overall kind of bullish on soybeans, but really just looking to stay pretty flat going forward in the market. Yeah, fair enough. Up here in the northern part of the state, when I'm driving around, I'm seeing a lot more corn fields than soybean fields, and I know that's just this part of the state, but I'm sure they've got a lot more, <clears throat> excuse me, in the delta. Yes, so they did increase uh, corn plantings in Mississippi from what they said in March. Uh, but still, we're still looking at over 2 million acres of soybeans planted uh, across the state. So last but certainly not least, cotton. What did cotton have to show uh, us? So cotton was kind of also a surprise in this report as we saw them at nearly a million acres of cotton across the country. Uh, in Mississippi specifically, uh, they increased our estimate to 520,000 acres. That's up 20,000 from where we were in March. And this was really a unexpected. Uh, to the market. I didn't expect them to add, find that many acres of cotton going forward. Uh, cotton's been struggling lately already with demand. Uh, this increase in acres on top of it is going to be some pretty heavy downward pressure on prices going forward. Yeah, I do find that interesting too because yeah, the demand for cotton has been down recently. So I'm wondering maybe the growers know something we don't. Yeah, so kind of the idea was coming, so when the March report came out right before planning, we've seen prices slide since then. So we thought maybe some of these lower prices would incentivize less cotton acres, which we've seen the opposite. 11 half million acres of cotton nationally is going to be a hard number for the market to swallow. And that's it for a deeper look into the markets. Looks like row crops continuing to do well so far this year, which means prices could also continue to fall.